All right, there's Princess and Kim. We boat shopping. We're looking at this 1984 President Sun Deck Trawler, twin 135s. It's got your Carib dinghy up there with a Merc on top, electric davit system to swing it off to put it in the water. So you can keep it out of the water and not to mess up the back of your boat so you can get in and out of it okay. And the waves don't sit there and beat up on your dinghy. So all in all, this boat looks really good. Check this side. There's where you plug in from the back, your 230 amps. There you can see the enclosure in front and the hard top on the back. So really this boat shows really well. It's gonna be a good possibility. Let's see, we stop the madness, start the adventure. Some days here. We're up here on the fly bridge of the uh, 84 present. Pretty good shape. One of the better boats that we've seen. This is outside of Foley, Alabama. This is on our uh, hard fact finding mission today. It's got a nice, uh, nice garment up here. It's got the radar, autopilot, synchronizer, looks really good. Alright, here we are on the sun deck. It's got a hard top. We've got a sink here. No refrigerator on this model here. We'd have to figure out something to put here. But it's really good shape. Here is your davit pole that comes down goes up through and hangs up above. I'll show you that from the outside. Your swim platform. There's Barry, our broker. There's Kim. Hey. So here we go. Okay, let's go down below. Check this out. Four steps down in the main salon. Forward. You got your lower helm here. You got your dinette here. Plastic laminate tops. Wood looks really good. You got your refrigerator freezer. Gas stove. Hot plate. You got your sharp carousel uh, microwave. Double sink. Lots of storage. Lots of headroom. Going forward, you've got a double bunk port side, air conditioning controls, little makeup uh, area right here, the head. This would be a wet head, that means everything in here would get wet if you showered. Hanging locker over here. Lots of room. Everything really looks good. Going back up here. This over here is a recliner. That's good. Wouldn't have to buy any furniture in here. Got custom blinds. We would probably have to buy some sun shields for the exterior to help keep the sun out to keep us cool. Going aft. Hanging locker. Another vanity with a lift up. Drawers. This is the only one. This is what you got to watch on these boats right here. See how soft that is? That's all rotted out. But that's the only one that we could find. And that's these portholes. Windows are the Achilles heel of these boats. So just remember that. All these up here, you got to make sure they're sealed up good. Other than that, everything in here looks good. Walk around queen. Nice bed, plenty of shelves, plenty of storage. Lower head, stand up shower, separate. Electric vacuum flush. 
head. How you doing? But really, uh, the boat's really in good shape. So, down below here you can lift. This one's fixed. You can got your two hatches or your combination hatches for your motor and your engines below. Your generator, two one, one, 135 horsepower Lehman's natural aspirator below here. That's where all the engines sit. You can access it from the other side or you can lift up here also. So that's what propels, propels this boat. So let's all go right. look at this. This is looking aft from the front bow. Eyes and glass up on top. Pretty good shape. Starting to get a little bit cloudy. Uh, the uh, sun deck is not enclosed other than the hard top, but it does have the door, so we'd have to enclose that. Show you the dinghy uh, when we get uh, on the back side. But it's got the cover on the front. Your hatch for your forward uh, berth. There's your windlass that looks fairly new. Got a, a plow anchor on it. Got another little anchor here. Got your stainless steel racks for your fenders. So all in all, it looks pretty good shape. It's got some paint issues. They had painted it at one time. So some of this is going to be pulled back and fixed and spotted in. But uh, that's really the only thing I can find wrong is one bad spot under a window, some painting issues, but other all in all, very good usable boat. Engine room looked good. All right, let's go on down to the next one, see what we can find. Ooh, you see that right there? That's a floating log. That's why you always got to have somebody paying attention. You never know what you're going to run over. That right there could ruin your day. All right, let's go.